Good morning, everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Stock Chart Analysis uh, Update video. We are checking in on FireEye, 3D Systems, and Stratasys. We're going to start off here with FireEye, and uh, FireEye had come down uh, just a brief review, this big, large drop here that occurred from February into May. And then it looks to me like when I took the, the rally uh, pivot uh, off of that uh, low uh, and the high here, this, as you can see in here, let me get rid of this, uh, between here and here, uh, simply, I like to do that after a big decline. I'll take the first rally point. Um, you know, it could have been here, but then when it broke it, you know, it came down off of this, draw a line. It seems like it's in a little bit of a box. Uh, although we do have this trend line here that it's come right up to and bounced off of. So let me blow that up a little bit so you can see. This is a, a trend line that uh, if it breaks it, it, it's pretty good chance that it would challenge the old high, I think, up here. Uh, the um, July 1st high at uh, 40, close to 42. Uh, so I'm not sure I'm seeing a whole lot else out of, out of this uh, stock. I don't really see any pattern. This looks like a three-wave move to me, which is corrective. This looks like a three-wave move, three-wave move. Um, this looks like a potential five-wave, although I, you know, I haven't analyzed it closely. So uh, my best guess is breaks to trend line. It's going to be up here around 42, and then we'll just have to see, does it break out of this kind of congested box, or does something else form or happen uh, with this stock? All right, the next thing is 3D systems, next stock, uh, and this is in a pretty solid downtrend. What's the ADX on this? ADX is 44. Uh, again, pretty solid downtrend. Anything over 20 means to me that uh, ADX is trending. It starts getting over 25 and especially over 30, and you are in a very solid, tight downtrend. Now, we're getting a little bit of divergence between this point and this point. Let me show you. Okay, see on the indicators, RSI, demand index. And even on uh, the uh, directional movement, uh, DI minus and even DI plus, we're getting some divergence. But get in this market and in a strong downtrend, you got to be really, really careful trying to play divergences. I mean, we look at this trend line here. This is a 21-day moving average. It is, str it is straight down. It's steeper than a 45-degree angle. Uh, the uh, the 55 is down. The 10 is below and down. So. Uh, you know, to, to jump in and say, I'm going to buy, uh, you know, you better have a really good reason uh, to do that. And uh, so right now, I think the movement is to the downside. When you look at uh, when you look at uh, the overall corrective action, I think we've had five intermediate uh, five moves to the upside. I think let me let me zoom back out of this. Yes. OK. Five primary moves to the upside. Uh, and and so I. Uh, I look at this and think we've got a fairly major correction that needs to happen here. You're going to be correcting everything from this point to this point. OK, and so, you know, how deep is that going to go? And, uh, you know, we'll just have to continue to watch. If you say that this is looking like a WXY because we had an ABC zigzag in here and then when I got this three wave, it looked like a very logical X connecting wave, and this has turned into a complex combined corrective action. So now it, we get we're getting another A B C type move. So the question is, where is C going to stop? I mean, if if Y is equal to W in terms of points, this has got a long way to go. Uh, but we'll just have to see. I mean, uh, you know, it's. Uh, there's no guarantee it's going to go a lot further, but then on the other hand, um, there's nothing that says this has got to stop going down. So right now, best interpretation is this is a downtrend. Uh, this would have been a great, I would have been looking to get back into to go short on this, but then it gapped, you know, uh, gapped down and you just couldn't get in. This, uh, I, you know, I kind of hesitate. Given that we got the divergence, I'd rather see a little bit more of a pullback or something over the 10. So right now we're just kind of continuing to watch it. Stratasys, on the other hand, is kind of going the other way. Now, I mean, look back and forth. Let's look at 3D, 
and you see the action in here you know this this rally made it made of the first of july and let's look at stratasys uh may to the first of july you get you get a rally too but 3d systems while this is kind of going up here uh 3d system rolled over and went down so stratasys has been acting stronger but here's my concern uh an impulse wave to the upside keeps pushing uh, higher there's this is a lot of overlap waves in here plus i'm seeing like what looks like three waves this looks like three 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 you know three ways Th those are all corrective which this may be some kind of larger uh, triangle that's going on and uh, so therefore you know triangles are typically b waves or fourth waves in an impulse move so this looks like a potential uh, b wave of some type and so we're just going to continue to watch it um, that's what's making me this kind of action is making me not get bullish on it and I'd be watching to see, let me zoom in a little more. I'd be watching to see, does it, you know, break down through this trend line in here? Uh, so that would be, and you can see how it had a pretty big intraday move and then came back, but didn't close down. Uh, was down almost a dollar, 0.97. So continue, we'll continue to watch this, but this could get interesting. Now, I don't trade options on this one because of the, the, the average true range on this, 10-day average true range is 4.5. I don't like, I, I try to keep option trading to less than four ATR because of the, where you got to set your stop if you're wrong and, and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's my best take on Stratasys 3D Systems and FireEye for today. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with an update on Tesla, SolarCity, First Solar, and JKS. Have a great day, everyone. Talk to you soon.